Okay, let's take a look at this first encoding or orthographic mapping question, or AKA spelling, phonics spelling question. Um, it is from the Illinois 222 exam. This is a nice exam. It's got some good questions in it. I want you to take a moment. I want you to take two minutes and I want you to read the question to yourself. And then we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it, okay? Take two minutes now on your own, go ahead. right you know it's an or you know it's a, a spelling question or an orthographic mapping question or a encoding question whenever this scenario has the, an assessment or something to do with spelling and often it is uh the word it says the teacher says the word or or dictates the word so they say the word the teacher says set star drive so the teacher i'll just write down teacher says or dictated the word, and then the student, the student spells. So this is some type of spelling quiz. You've seen this book. Everyone's heard of a spelling quiz. Now, why don't they say spelling quiz? Why do they have to make it so fancy smancy with orthographic mapping or encoding? I don't know why. The point is, if you do see this scenario, that you recognize your friend. Oh, my friend John, aka uh, anything to do with, uh, in this case here, spelling or encoding or orthographic mapping, right? They're, they're all going to be, they're all going to be your friend, John. So you want to remember that. Okay. So if you spot this in the question, you should be like spelling, encoding, orthographic mapping question. Okay. Here it says here, a reading teacher in an elementary school regularly reviews the writing of struggling readers to analyze their spelling. This practice is most likely to provide the reading teacher with useful information about the student's ability in which of the following areas. Let's think about that. What are they doing? It's a reading teacher, but they usually do spelling assessments. Why? Well, they're trying to identify in the student's spelling what phonics patterns the student hasn't mastered yet. So here we see set, set, correct. So that's a CVC word. Uh, pattern, right? And they have that. Star, stir, uh-oh, spaghettios. That's a little bit of our control going on here, right? Drive, uh, div, right? Driv, uh-oh, that's a little bit of uh, vowel constant magic E going on. Do you see that team? So the spelling assessment identifies phonics patterns, which need to be clarified and that's going to help them with their decoding which is ultimately going to help them with the encoding right because they're reciprocal decoding activities reinforce encoding activities that support decoding activities okay so by a reading teacher doing spelling quizzes this practice is going to uh, this practice is going to give them information to help them with what comprehension no Context clues, it's not what we're doing here. Vocabulary knowledge, it's not what we're doing in this scenario. Phonics knowledge. So those encoding activities are gonna give information on how to support the decoding. Yes? Thumbs up. Nice question. Simple, clear, right? It's a nice test. I, I like these exams too, because they're very, I think this is really all that you would need. I don't think you need these massive long exams. I think sometimes the, the simpler, the better, because it's um, because in elementary, we want to be clear. We don't want to be tricky. I don't think, I think these exams try too hard to be tricky. I think that you want to get that profound idea like this one, that your spelling assessment can help with your phonics and your decoding, right? And that is so such a very important idea. Uh, why try and trick someone, right? This is not a tricky question. It's a clear cut uh, foundational idea. So I love it. And uh, it has uh, this one right here. The answer is C. This one here, it gives you the rationale. Nice exams to look at if you're a beginner teacher. If you're just starting out. The 222 does have some nice clear explanations. Good one to take a look at, okay? For that beginner uh, teacher, okay? All right, let's keep going. Onwards and upwards.